So uh, one of the readers asked me about how you create a, uh, a formula template in Excel. And so I went through and I created one. So here it is. Um, in this formula, in this template, the way you use it is up in this box here, you put the name of the formula. I just put test formula there. Then you can enter the batch size. I do all my formulating in grams. So here's a 500 gram batch. Uh, one of the assumptions when making a cosmetic product, at least for this sheet, is that water is going to be the most abundant ingredient. And this will be true of most surfactant-based uh, cosmetics. For oil-based cosmetics, this won't be really the case, but it's convenient here. So in this box, you put the ingredient you that you're going to use. Leave the water one there, and water will cal be calculated out. All your ingredient, all your formula should equal 100% total, and the amount uh, you see in the batch will be located there. So I put in 500 grams, it'll be a 500 there. If we were making a 1500 gram batch, you see it changes to 1500. We'll go back to 500 though. So suppose we had something like sodium lauryl sulfate, and we were using it at. Uh, 30%. So you just type 30 in the percentage. Now you can see what happened here. The 30% here, it calculated the amount you need. So for a 500 gram batch, you need 150 grams of SLES. Now you can see what happened to the water here too. It subtracted that 30%. So now there's only 70% water and tells you how much you need of water in a batch, 350. So you could just go on and uh, add stuff. Say you add uh, guar. Um, polymer. That's not the INCI name, but you get the idea. And suppose this one is in at 0.2%. Now the water has subtracted out, the amount of the batch is calculated, and these still add up. And so the way you would use this is you continue to just type in ingredients. This column for actual amount is how much you actually put in the batch, which you should write in as you're making the batch. Now, this next column here helps you cost out the formula so you know how much these formulas cost per pound. I do per pound uh, just because it's a convenient way and that's how uh, Americans figure stuff out. Probably should do it cost per liter or cost per gram but pound works out better. So so what the way you work this is you put in the cost of the raw material from your supplier. So suppose you can get SLES for 30 cents a pound. You type in 0.30, 30 cents, and then it calculates how much in this formula per pound that's going to add. So in this case, SLES is adding 9 cents per pound of formula. So the guar polymer costs $2 a pound, and in this case it's 0.004, so that's 0.4 cents. And then it adds up the total here. So if you want to cost out your formula, you can just go through and put the cost per pound here. This number will calculate things out. Finally, you can put type in a procedure and the specifications here, and you can use this formula uh, template to create any uh, batch that you want. So I hope you find this useful, and if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments section below.